Hello and thank you for tuning in. In this video, I show how I obtain central venous access. Note that this is my preferred approach and that there are different approaches to learn. Generally speaking, one can obtain access while patients are under conscious sedation and local anesthesia or under general anesthesia. In my cardiac cases, I do so after the patient is under general and a TEE probe is in place. Let's go. Before setting up, I position the patient in Trindellenburg with the face turned away from the access side if they can tolerate it. With ultrasound, I assess the IJ or the internal jugular vein for its depth, size, compressibility, and relation to the carotid artery. If no surprises, I prep the neck and as it dries, I carefully open my gown and gloves. I go scrub, I gown, and I glove. Now, there are different catheters of varying sizes, some with three lumens, others with two, or one lumen with an introducer port. And my approach for either of them is essentially the same. Here's a triple lumen catheter tray. Like the others, it has items I do not use, so I remove them and I organize my tray. I dock my introducer needle and scalpel in the Sharps locking cup, load my suture, check the integrity of my wire, and I clave and flush my ports. I then carefully drape the patient and cover my ultrasound probe. Now, the skin is tough to get through, so I get through it with my introducer needle and syringe in a steep angle. And I then advance with negative aspiration. During this time, I appreciate how easily the vein is compressed. So when I get a flash, I know the bevel tip is likely to be on the posterior wall of the vein, and I prove it under ultrasound. So I then relieve my pressure on the vein so that it plumps up and I place the needle tip in the center of the vessel. I then gradually and carefully lower my angle under ultrasound guidance. Note that as I drop the needle angle, the bevel tip shifts centrally towards the chest and heart. So I fan my ultrasound probe centrally to see the bevel tip throughout and I stop when I am as parallel to the vein as possible. I then disconnect the syringe from the needle and advance the J wire down the IJ into the superior vena cava and right atrium and I see it in the mid-esophageal bicaval view on TEE. I then remove the introducer needle over the wire and nick the skin and dilate over the wire. I remove the dilator and slide my catheter over the wire. I then remove the wire and ensure blood return through my ports. I stitch it down, clean, and apply a sterile dressing. Thank you for your time and attention. Please like the video, leave a comment if you can, or a question, and share the video where you find it appropriate. See you in the OR.